I watch. Yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, how are you? Well, ladies, first, uh, Christine, uh, can you talk about the importance of having complex and interesting feminine characters, such as Jessica, Trisha and Jerry, in recent movies and TV series? Yeah, um, uh, that, my favorite thing about Jessica Jones are the amazing female roles for women and female roles for women. <laughs> <laughs> we know what you meant. <laughs> and the complicated, um, complex relationships uh, between the characters. Um, the show is also written by a woman, which is really exciting. Um, the core friendship between uh, Jessica Jones and Trish Walker, played by Rachel Taylor, uh, is really exciting to me because we're never talking about a dude or a wedding or magazines or, or stuff like that, that that you tend to see a lot in in movies and television. And to you, uh, some people are linking the relationship between Jessica and Kilgraves with, with abusive relationship. Uh, do you agree? Um, what would you say to someone who's in this kind of uh, abusive relationship? Oh, it's not for me to offer relationship advice to anyone who's going through a hard time, and and and, and these are obviously very delicate issues. You know, we don't want to you, you, you don't want to trivialize it because you know it's it's still a, a a show about people with fantastical powers and it's an entertainment. But at the same time, I think I think good drama, good art can can reflect uh, some of the issues that we're all dealing with as a society, and I think it does that. Cleverly and sensitively, actually, and it just it just uh, uh, allows you to think about uh, issues of consent and issues of uh, uh, how people interact with each other. Um, and without you know, without trying to be preachy or heavy-handed about that, I think it I think it has some interesting things to say, definitely. And you, Christine, about the, the, the abusive relationship. You know, um, I. Um Sorry, I was just got like I was like listening to you, and then I was like, oh my god, I'm so tired, and I'm like, so groggy from Nyquil. Um, uh, you know, I think that the issues um, represented in the show are very relatable. Um, even though this is a sh show about a former superhero, um, her struggles are very, uh, very internal, very intimate, very relatable. She's got her feet on the ground, and I think that's why people are responding so favorably to, um, to you know, how it was executed. And who is your favorite comic character? Ever. Ever. Oh, well, when I was a kid, it was the Incredible Hulk. I, I was fascinated with the Incredible Hulk. I think it was because he was a bit of an anti-hero. He was, it was quite a, I think it's what Marvel Comics and now Marvel, oh. the Marvel Cinematic Universe have always done so brilliantly, is that they have these characters that are extraordinary kind of fantasy concepts, but they always have a, 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 a believable psychology within there somewhere. Um, and something like Jessica Jones obviously takes that to a, a, a new sort of adult level. But uh, uh, I, I think it's what Stan Lee did with the Fantastic Four way back in 1960 something. I mean, that's 66, yeah, that seven. was his, that was his genius move to take these people with extraordinary powers, but the stories still remain about about the the, the human beings within the suits, as it were. And uh, so I've always loved all those stories. Um, I didn't really grow up on, on any kind of comic books, and Jessica Jones was my first, <laughs> my, my first experience, and she is my favorite by far. Quite right. <laughs> uh, how was the training to the action scenes? Wow, I didn't really have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just for her. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it was it was pretty hardcore. I was lifting things that I never thought I would lift in my life. Normally, like I'm a very physically active person. I like doing yoga and spinning. Um, and the training for this was nothing like that. It was a lot of push-ups, a lot of weight training, boxing, and things like that, uh, which I found really empowering. Um, it helped me find Jessica's physical body because just having like putting on muscle and things like that changed how I felt in my own skin, um, and it helps me, you know, find this sort of weight of the world um, in, in her physicality. Oh, uh, the first time I saw you was in the beach in apartment 23. Yeah. Uh, uh, only after that in Breaking Bad. Yeah. So you always be more close than Jane to me. Uh, <laughs> Jessica Jones will, will be like uh, uh, the super bitch in Hell's Kitchen. Totally, <laughs> totally. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> don't trust the bitch in Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> well, I think that uh, I made only five questions. Okay, five good questions. Yeah, great Solid, questions. strong work. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, can we take a, a selfie? Sure. Sure, of course. <laughs> We're slightly uh, connected to these seats. Do you want to come over this way? Well, oh. wait, wait, wait. Just a, just a second, please. 
This is an old iPhone. Right. <laughs> Do you want me to do it? Ready? Cute. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. Nice to nice meet you. Have a great too. day. Thank you.